So fun fact, I filmed an intro to this video earlier today in my car right before hitting the thrift store and I was all like, I'm just gonna look for some stuff for myself and maybe for my kiddo and uh, yeah, as you can probably tell from the title, that did not happen. Hello friends and welcome back or if you're new to this channel welcome my name is Veronica and I'm slightly addicted to thrifting I'm afraid and to unboxings and to all kinds of other reseller related content and tasks and that's kind of what we're covering here on this channel I'm a part-time reseller I sell primarily on Poshmark, eBay and Macari and also on ThreadUp and The Real Real every once in a while and I'm supposed to not go thrifting right now or order threader boxes for that matter. And this week I've done both. So I'm here to hold myself accountable, but also to bring you a haul and a little bit of a thrift of me. So let's go back several hours to uh, the time when I rolled up to my honey hole and my honey hole did not disappoint. So I'll show you a little bit of that thrift with me footage and then stay tuned for the haul. If you just want to see the haul, I will put a timestamp down below and I will also put a chapter in, if I can remember, to do that. So you can just come back to the haul and you don't have to go through all the thrift with me and fun music and all of that. But if that's your jam and if you want to get work done while I'm thrifting and maybe talking a little bit about my thought process and what I'm finding, then feel free to stick around. And also, if you have nothing better to do or if you just want to be supportive, hit that like button and also subscribe please to help me get to a thousand subscribers and also to get this video and other videos more exposure on youtube that would be lovely all right thrift me it is let's see what i did earlier today and then let's come back here for the haul flashback okay hi so uh we're going thrifting today and we might just go thrifting for myself i kind of want to look for some stuff for myself clothing wise but if you're a reseller, you already know, it usually turns into um, a sourcing trip. So we'll just see where the day takes us. Happy Saturday. It's very sunny. I should be doing stuff outdoors, but instead I'm going to a thrift store. So it's just what we do. It's just what we do.
Okay guys, you ready for this? This is my uh, early 20s right here. Baby fat. Deer on. Rockaway. And apple bottles. I did not. I did not hang them up like this. This is how they came. And I'm cracking up. Okay, so we spent like four hours at the thrift. Is that right? I don't, what time is it? I don't even know. Yeah, I think it's been four hours. Maybe. I got there at 11. It's 2.30. How many hours is that? I can't even think. So basically like a trip to the bins, just you pay more. And I got, I think, 35 items and I paid 120 bucks. Again, math. Can't do it right now. I'm going to go to Starbucks and get myself a ham and cheese croissant because I've been dreaming about that. <laughs> but holy hell, it was busy. I could not film as much as I wanted to. Families, resellers, old ladies, the girlies, everybody and their mother was there. Oh my goodness. It was so freaking busy. And my honey hole is small-ish. Like it's everything is very narrow. You barely have any space to you know get past somebody else who has uh, a card and it's just it's hard to film it was hard to sort it was hard to even just look through stuff but I found a whole bunch of really good stuff I put back so much because I just decided nope um, either had a tiny stain or the price was not right or just had too much basically um, my camera is about to fall, I already know it, because we're going to make a turn. Eh? Eh? You're going to fall? No, you're not going to fall? Oh, you're just going to slide over. Cool! But yeah, um, so we did that thing. Okay, car, I know, it's hard to go up a hill. That's not actually a hill, it's a bridge. Um, I'm not sure if I'm making any sense, because I'm legit so exhausted right now, but... Found some good stuff, found some stuff for myself. <laughs> of course, it turned into a sourcing trip real fast. I mean, what do we expect, right? Sorry, my phone's in the way. So, but yeah, found some stuff for myself. I'm so glad that the GoPro can handle all the falls. Once I get my new car, there will be a proper setup for the GoPro. <laughs> anyway, uh, I found some stuff for myself. Not as much as I'd hoped, but me. Um, found some stuff for my kid, found some stuff for reselling, and I think I found some stuff for to go in the uh, Secret Santa box that we're doing with the ladies of the bar. We're doing a Secret Santa gift exchange for our December edition, and I started shopping for the person that I'm gifting, so got like two or three pieces, I think. I have to look through it. Um, so yeah, that I remembered that as I was browsing that I should probably start looking. <laughs> wow, lighting, are you even there? Um, anyway, so stay tuned for the, I'm like not in vlogging mode anymore, but stay tuned for the haul. I'll show you everything except what I got for the Secret Santa situation. So hit the thumbs up too if you're having a good time so far. I have no idea what this video is going to be, so We'll just find out. Cheers. Okay, we have acquired a mango dragon fruit refresher. Which is really good actually. And ham and cheese croissant. <sighs> so I can feel more like a person again. There's also a whole bunch of jackassery going on. So that's always fun. Yeah. Get some gas, go home, deal with all this crap. Maybe even list something. Not not from this hall, but in general. 
He probably can't even hear me because I'm listening to music. Probably gonna get a copyright strike. Fun time. Many hours later. All right, so we're back. As you can see, I'm wearing a different shirt than I did this morning and it is thrifted. It's from Poshmark and it's a uh, Little Mermaid shirt. It has the Little Mermaid and a dingle hopper and what else? It has all kinds of things. Um, it says part of your world, dingle hopper, kiss the girl, all the good stuff that we know and love from the Little Mermaid. I'm not really a Disney person, so I mostly wear this to sleep and in a video, I guess. But I love this so much and I saw it on Poshmark in somebody's closet. I think I was already bundling some other stuff from that person's closet. And yeah, I just threw it in there because it was cute and it was in my size range. So we're going to be a Disney person today. I left some Disney behind at the thrift earlier. I don't think I showed it. I just don't have that much luck selling Disney. Certain Disney items, yes, but just like your basic Disney, it's just not selling for me. Even Disney Parks is not selling for me. So anyway, not that we're bitter about that or anything. Let's jump into this haul. So there is a mix of stuff in here. I don't know if I said it earlier or not. There's some stuff for reselling. Most of it is for reselling. There is some stuff for myself, some stuff for my kid. And then there's also some stuff in here that I'm going to be putting in a secret Santa box for one of the ladies of the bar. So in case you have missed it, I have a live. I will link the first and second episode up here back to back. Um, the first one is on my channel. The second one is on Dollar Dr. Jennifer's channel. So Jennifer, Chloe and Glamma and I, we have a live every second Saturday of the month, second Saturdays at the bar, which stands for Badass Resellers. And we are doing a Secret Santa gift exchange. And I can't tell you who I got, but I can tell you that I shop for this person. But of course, I can't show you what I got. So I'm gonna have to, uh, to hide those items somewhere. There's one item where I'm not entirely sure yet if it's gonna go in the box or not. So I'm not gonna show that either. Um, I got a total of 35 items if I counted correctly. And I paid just under $120. So that comes out to, wow, that's a lot. That comes out to, I think, $3.42, something like that, which is right, right where I want to be with my cost of goods. Let's see. So one item I can show you. This I can show you. I think I showed this on the Thrift With Me portion. It has a little bit of wear and it's not something super exciting, but it's from my own kiddo and it was down to two bucks. It's just a little winter jacket, which he needs. Uh, I'm one of those moms that, you know, when the seasons change, I all of a sudden realize that my kid doesn't have anything to wear. So <laughs> to the thrift we go. So that's going to be for him. I'm going to have to figure out a way to clean that. I can probably wash it. Um, next item. Can show you, not sure if it's gonna go to my secret Santa person. I can, however, take out the tag and let you know that it was marked at $2.98. Um, anyway, so that may go to my closet or not. I'm not entirely sure yet. I have to figure out if it's gonna work for them or not. So you did not see anything. I should put that in a different pile probably. Okay, and then one more kids item. I think that's all the kids items I got. This was down to 99 cents, just a pair of jeans for my kiddo who was very tall. Uh, it's just Cat and Jack, straight jeans. So Target, um, not in perfect condition, but guess what? My child will not leave pants in perfect condition either. So whatever. Okay, now it's October and <laughs> naturally I'm picking up swimwear. Not really, especially because this thrift store, my honey hole, which I very much love, but they mark up swimwear by like Shein and Cup she to the max and it's ridiculous. It's cute, but like, mm, who's paying that? I don't know. This one was not marked up and I just took the tag off, but I think it was at four bucks or five bucks. And this is Athleta, it's a tankini top and Athleta swimwear does really well for me. It's super cute in the back with these straps here and there's the label, it's a size medium. A lot of Athleta swimwear, like just bikini tops, will actually have an actual cup size um, listed, which is pretty nice because that's just the best way to find your perfectly fitting bikini top, I guess. So got that. Um, I forgot to mention, but I think I showed it in the thrift of me. They had a sale on furniture, rugs, things I'm not interested in right now, um, but also on any ladies short sleeve and sleeveless shirts. So all of those that I'm going to show you, anything that's like a ladies short sleeve or sleeveless 
top shirt um those were 40 percent off which that's pretty good so there were a few that i picked up because they were 40 percent off otherwise i would not have paid what's on the tag but we'll get to that i think they're all in a separate bag too because i pre-sorted them for my cashier because i'm nice like that okay these were marked at three bucks which it doesn't really matter because i average out everything but these are columbia shorts nothing special they're not the pfg which i usually pick up too um but these are just some little hiking board shorts whatever shorts everyday shorts they're a size small and it's they're the six inch length in this tan color columbia does really well for me and even if it didn't i could probably send it to the real real so that's totally okay with me and i picked up another pair of shorts uh by american eagle outfitters super stretch high rise shorty this dress they are tiny I think they're size two. I think they're size two. Yes, they're size two um, with American Eagle. You always have the style name right here. High rise shorty. Distressed. More distressed in the front than the back. Um, tested the zipper. Everything's good. It's probably not going to sell right now, but when it does, it's probably going to sell for like 15 bucks. So that's all right with me. All right. This is going to be an experiment. I looked up the brand. It seems to retail for a good bit, but resale is so-so. So we'll see. We're going to find out. The brand is IAB, which I think stands for I Am Becoming or something like that. I'll have to look it up. IAB, MFG, and they're just some little... Here, here's the brand. Let's start with that. And there's some little yoga, workout, exercise, running, cycling, athleisure shorts in a very loud and pretty pattern i was kind of hoping to find a second pair um just to bundle them because i saw a lot of people did that on poshmark but we'll just try them on their own and yeah see how it goes okay this i cannot show you because it's probably gonna go in the box it's a pair of pants next thing i also can't show you because it's going in the box so you're just gonna have to wait until um our holiday edition of the bar am i sorting this in any reasonable way i don't think i am okay something i can show you that's not going in the box is this athleta skirt and this kind of poked out i don't usually look at skirts but every once in a while i do and then i do find good stuff at this place but this was kind of poking out and i'm like oh this looks structured and nice and it's olive green which is kind of a color i'm drawn to right now i don't know if it's a newer or older label i just i never know with this letter but it doesn't really matter honestly i pick it up either way um so this is what was i going to say i forgot what i was going to say but i saw it because it stuck out uh, it's a size four and let's see does it have a year it's the tag is pretty washed out so it's probably not super duper brand new but it's in good condition i don't see anything wrong with it so it does have a style number which is a little hard to read but yeah just a nice little skirt for outdoorsy at leisure people okay this one is one of my bread and butter brands but i don't always pick it up anymore because it's either usually it's very plain or overpriced so unless it's at the bins i usually don't get it but this is so cute look at this cuteness on this tunic top blouse awesome crochet sleeves um it's j jill and this one's a petite so that's not ideal but it's also the love linen line say that three times fast it's a uh, wait nope yes it's a petite it's an extra small petite so it's not a size i usually pick up but j jill is usually just like a little bit oversized so i feel like this is just like extra small probably a small could fit it too um yeah 100 percent linen and it's so pretty it has some of this pin tuck in the back and in the front yeah couldn't resist that I think it was in the long sleeve tops. I don't think she took off anything for that one, but oh, I just realized that something that I'm putting in the box is actually prettier than I realized. So that's always good. Anyway, sorry. Um, what are you? Okay, this is a tank top that was priced at two bucks and it's uh, Assets or Love Your Assets by Sarah Blakely, who is the Spanx person. Now this is a Spanx line that doesn't do as well. It's, it's not as pricey. Um, it's just like a little 
fairly basic tank top that you can wear under a blazer or a cardigan. Um, I don't know if this is going to do particularly well. I'll probably list it, but if it doesn't sell, I can probably wear that. It says it's a 1X, but it looks a little bit smaller than that, probably because it is supposed to be a little bit compression-y. So I would totally wear that with a cardigan for work or something like that. Okay, so these I was so excited to find because I thought this brand does really well, but then I looked up comms and comms are so-so. Um, but to be honest with y'all, I might just keep these for myself if they fit. I haven't tried them yet and they are a size bigger than what I currently wear. However, I've also been gaining weight, so maybe they fit and maybe I just need to be honest with myself. So if they do, I'll probably keep them for a while and then resell them later. But the brand, sorry, let me just button these up. The brand is Elizabeth and James. And these are the High Rise Flare, which beautiful words for reselling high rise sells really well personally i can do mid rise or high rise but i do love a good flare leg so i meant to try these on before filming this haul but i didn't um but who doesn't love a good pair of black denim jeans i mean i do people who shop my closet apparently don't but i will try these on and if I look really good in them, I'll insert a picture. If I don't, I'll just let you know somewhere. And if it's somewhere in the middle, I'll let you know too. So, okay, this I also meant to try on to see if it fits, but if it doesn't, I'm sure I can sell this. Not a super desirable brand, but it's super cute. At least not super desirable for reselling. I personally love this brand and I shop from this brand a lot before I started thrifting. Um, so the brand is New York and Company. Like I said, not super exciting. This was marked down to three bucks. Uh, it's an extra large and it's a super pretty strapless dress, you guys. And she does have pockets. So if you're a woman who likes to wear dresses and skirts, you do have to mention that she does have pockets. Now I did sell a New York and Company skirt that had the same, wasn't the same color, but had like a hummingbird pattern not too long ago. Um, this thing has a little bit of fuzz, so I'm gonna have to treat it somehow, but it's like a super cute strapless fit and flare A-line midi dress. I kind of held it up to me just to see where it would hit. Oh, it has boning even cool um where it would hit because i do like my dresses to hit below the knee kind of like the t length i believe is what they call it so because it's so pretty um even if this looks like crap on me or if i don't wear it because let's be honest where am i gonna wear a dress like this i don't know honestly <laughs> so if that's the case i'm just gonna list it and some other lady who has a more interesting social life than me will wear it but i'm sure that if i list it i could probably get 25 bucks for it okay so that was the big bag, the big garbage bag. Let's look at some shoes, shall we? Now, I picked up three pairs of shoes and I think most of them you saw in the video. Now, I haven't talked to Glamour yet about whether or not these are legit coach, but I think they are. She told me earlier that coach shoes are hardly ever faked because they're just not that expensive. They don't resell that well which I totally knew and understand. Um, I usually never pick up coach for anything. They're the Judy flip-flop. They're a nine and a half B. So I wear a size 10, so I don't think, I mean, maybe if they run large, but they seem to have like a little bit of um, a cushion here. So they're not really a platform, but well, a little bit of a platform, I guess. And again, it's October, not the best time to pick this up, but they cost two bucks. I mean, I can get 20 for them. I'll be happy you know so they're in pretty good shape they do have a little bit of junk here that i need to clean up some more and they do have a little bit of a cut back here i don't know if you can see this in the foam but whatever 20 bucks maybe we'll see these i believe i showed first thing i picked up and these were marked at four bucks and i think these may be mine they are mucklucks but they're not just slippers they're actually real like sock knit boots whatever they're called um kind of similar to uggs just cheaper and i personally love mucklucks i don't like uggs they're the a la mode i've sold these exact same ones before for an okayish amount um you can fold them over they have this little heather gray bluish color they're just really nice i like them and they are a size 11 which is i wear a 10 10 and a half 
but I feel like with boots like this, uh, with thick socks in them, that probably works out. So they may be my casual uh, wear to the bins and thrifting boots. We'll see. If not, I'll sell them. They're still gonna make me money if I sell them. And then the last pair that I picked up are these Vionics. Vionic is a pretty decent brand to pick up, does fairly well for me. These are a little bit unusual, I feel like, for Vionics, but that's kind of what I liked about them. I forgot what they were priced at, but I think it was like three, four bucks or so. So they are little flip floppy sandals, the buckle in the back, and they have this whole golden, whatever this is called, situation going on. So they're uh, comfortable, but also a little chic, I guess. Have a little bit of a heel, not really, but have some cushioning. So yeah, I don't know how much I'm gonna get for them. 20, 25, maybe, I don't know. Size, in case you're interested. I think they're also nine and a half. They're a size nine, so. And they do have a style number on here, so I can probably look that up. So yeah, if you guys are ever interested in anything I show in my hauls, please do let me know because nine times out of 10, stuff's not listed yet. So if you wanna save me some time and um, some platform fees and get shit for cheaper, then you can always let me know and I'll sell it to you. Okay, they gave me this really nice bag. Proof, protective bags. Military products, oh wow. So this thrift store, the Honey Hole, is the DAV, which is the Disabled Army Veterans. Um, so that's who, uh, who benefits from my shopping addiction. And yeah, they're really nice there. It's just a whole bunch of old ladies working there. <laughs> And they're super sweet. Okay, and so this bag is my bag full of items that were 40% off. So whatever price tags I'm taking off, take 40% off. All right. And there's stuff in here I can't show you <laughs> because it's going in the box. So I cannot show you this one, which is probably for the best because you're gonna be like, Veronica, why are you picking up this brand? Because my friend likes it, that's why. Okay, this one was down to like two bucks and it's Nouveau Tags and it's linen and it's Italian. Uh, so that's why I picked it up, even though I'm not familiar with the brand. The brand is Lungo Larno, made in Italy. It's a size large, it's 100% linen, Nouveau Tags, like I said. And it's very cute. It has a little bit of this eyelet lace at the sleeves and at the hem. And yeah. I don't know if it would fit me. Looks like it might be a little small. But maybe if I lose some weight, if it doesn't sell, I don't think it's a very well-known brand. But anyway, it was down to, what did I say? Two bucks, 40% off. That was kind of a no-brainer. I mean, that's basically a bin's price. Okay, we finally have another item. Wait, no, I already showed you items for myself. Okay, so we do have another item that I picked up for myself. This was $3.90 something. Again, before the 40% off. This is just a loft. Um, top with a little bit of what is that crochet lace i call everything crochet lace in case you haven't noticed um in the front and also around the collar and then it ties like right here so it's very flattering in case you're having a um food baby of some sort so that is for me where am i tossing that my piles make no sense anymore i i this i think is also for me if it fits because is such a mood it's such a mood okay this is just freeze and freeze makes all these cute little like i don't know graphic tees and such it's a junior size but it's an extra extra large junior so it's probably like an extra large i was about to say seniors <laughs> in women's and it ties and it's cropped which are not things that i usually go for but it's this cute little crop top and I might just, I might just keep this for around the house. Uh, the reason I like it so much, aside from being striped, is that it says, nah, I'm good. Such a mood, <laughs> such a mood. Okay, so it ties in the front uh, and if I, you know, look stupid in this and don't like it beyond wearing it in a video, I'll just sell it for like 12, 15 bucks. Okay, this one I don't think has any tags whatsoever, but it was 99 cents. <laughs> But shit, it was 99 cents. Hmm. That's my equivalent to it weighs nothing. Yeah, I don't think it has anything. And also, I don't know what's happening with me and picking up graphic tees all of a sudden. It's the company you keep, I guess. Anyway, oh, leave this to the professional. And it's like a gamer shirt. 
we go with the controller. If I had to guess, I would say it's a women's extra large. So like a men's large, probably medium to large. So I will guesstimate that and just list it like that. Then we have another, oh yeah, graphic tee, which I would have loved to put in my Santa box, but it's not gonna work out. Uh, it says I've been goodish all year or this year, all year. And it's, you know, it's obviously a t-shirt, not like a fair isle sweater, but it's supposed to look like that. So uh, that I think was like two bucks. I forgot. It was 40% off. So after that, it was probably less than two. Um, it says large and it's just a Delta Pro weight. So I think that'll sell for the holidays. This one is a brand I've never found in the wild, but I got in a thread up box before and it's currently sitting at the real real and not selling. Um, it's Mar Marmot, Marmo. I still don't know how to pronounce it. Somebody tell me, do we pronounce the T or not? Is it French? Is it not French? Marmot, can you even see it? Uh, this is the logo here in the back in case you ever see that. Here you go. So size large, women's short sleeve shirt. I'm guessing it's a women's. I was in the women's section. Personally hate this color, but somebody might like it. And then two more. This one is a Nike. And it was five bucks before the discount. So like three-ish after. Um, it says out of your league. And I think I was drawn to it because it's the colors of my former college where I used to work. Not that they treated me that nicely, but anyway. <laughs> so it's a Nike slim fit t-shirt. It's in excellent condition. That's kind of why I picked it up. And I figured this might do well. I'll see. And then last short sleeve top the head I grabbed. Yeah, I just, I could not leave that behind. I have a few that I passed by and left behind and I can insert pictures somewhere over here. Or maybe I inserted them earlier. I don't remember. I wish this were my size so badly. It says, though shall not try me, mood 24 seven. It's a size small, but you know what? It might be a men's small. It's probably like a women's medium. So too tight for me, <sighs> sadly. So it's no, it, there's no brand. It's just a little cheap China tag here. I don't even think, does it have a care tag? Does have a care tag? Uh, cotton and polyester, yeah. But anyway, I don't think it matters what brand this is because it's just, it's funny. So somebody who's looking for exactly that um, is going to find that hopefully in my closet. I'll probably tag something like, I don't know, mood, attitude, something. I, I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> if you can think of keywords for that, leave them down below. Okay, we got two more little plastic bags here and one is full of bras and that should be quick because they're essentially all the same. So this one's a little bit different but they're all Kasik and you guys know I love selling Kasik and they had a whole rag, I think I showed that, full of Kasik bras and like crazy sizes. So I did leave a few behind. I didn't pick them all up. Um, Kasik, here is the label. And these also have the Kasik kind of like embossed over here. So Kasik is Lane Bryan's um, Intimates line and it sells so well for me, especially the bras. Uh, so this is a size 50C, which is not something I've ever seen before. So these are big. And I'm sure there is a lady out there who is wearing this size, who needs her bras to be more affordable and who doesn't mind getting them pre-owned because these are all in great shape from what I can tell. So this one is kind of like a shiny blush pink color. So this one I'm going to have to list separately from the others. The others, y'all gonna laugh. The others are almost all the same. So I have to really look on, over and make sure they're the same for multi-quantity listing, but some of them are. So they're all the same color. Yeah, I know. And I, I still left some behind. There were more. Um, so we have, some of these are kind of shiny. Most of these are. Okay, let's put these aside. So this one is not shiny. This is like a matte, um, like light tan color. Personally, I don't like to use the word nude for this particular color because guess what? Not everybody looks like this, okay? Like... 
this is not every person's nude skin color so don't call it nude it's just it's stupid anyway so again Kasik, this is a 50b so this is a little bit different from the others because it's not that shiny material it's kind of matte and then the rest of them i want to say are all the same they don't have style names uh, this one's different actually okay so this one's different good lord veronica i'm like covered in bras this is a 50c if you're out there and you need bras and you're a 50c or b or any of the other sizes i'm about to tell you please do reach out seriously um but i really love selling plus size bras this one has a little bit of a, a charm up here um, i love selling plus size bras because they're easy to photograph, they're easy to list, they're easy to store, they're easy to ship. And they usually sell fast for me. So if you're not selling plus size bras, then I don't know what you do with your life. But anyway, um, this one is, they pretty much all look the same. This one is a 38 double D. I mean, you all know what they look like at this point. Um, I think I have another one in a 38 double D. So also picking them up with the intention of hopefully having somebody bundle them. Yep, also 38 double D, and I think those are exactly the same. Again, I will check, and if they are multi quantity listing, makes my life easier. Uh, two more. Again, they all look the same, and some of these were priced at four bucks, some were priced at five. This is also a 38 double D, so that's three for multi quantity. And then this one is also a 38 double D, so I think all of those are exactly the same, which. God, do I love it when my life is somewhat easy. So, yeah, I don't know how many that was, but like I said, I left a few behind and I still picked up all of these. They were like piled up on top of my card and I was like, it's a good thing that I have no shame. <laughs> I mean, I do, but not with, not with buying bras from the fifth store. I don't, I don't have any shame with that because they're making me money. Okay, this I believe I showed in the thrift with me portion and it's my only non-clothing or shoe item, but I could not leave this behind because it's very seasonal and I do have good luck with these tapestry blankets. I just took the tag off, but it was like down to $2 or so. So I think I showed this in its full glory in the thrift with me portion, but I'll try and show it again. So it's a blanket, tapestry blanket, fringes and all of that. Um, probably a twin size, I would guess. Has teddy bears. And it got Santa, who you can hopefully see, because I cannot see what you see at this point. And then it got more teddy bears at the bottom. I don't think it has any writing. No, it does not. And it has fuzzies and such, but I don't think that matters, honestly. I'm sure this is gonna sell, hopefully before Christmas. So yeah, um, I don't think this has any tags of any kind, but again, usually does not matter. So I was looking at the quilts, uh, Camilla and Kang. I was looking at, they were just marked up too high for my own personal taste. And now I'm all flustered here. Okay, that was it. Um, so yeah, 35 items. You didn't see all of them again, because I had to keep some of them a secret. How do you guys think I did? So average cost of goods, again, $3 and 40 something cents, something for myself, something for my kid, something for my friend. Um, I think I did pretty well. Uh, should I have been shopping and adding this big pile of clothing and a blanket and shoes to my inventory? Probably not, but I'm just, I'm not, I'm not upset with this. Some of it is going to go out right away, pretty much, um, in that Santa box. And yeah, the rest, maybe it'll sell fast. I think the bras are going to do well. And that's the thing, the bras don't really take up that much space. So that's how I'm justifying this shopping trip. Um, <laughs> but you can totally come for me in the comments, okay? My whole, I'm not going thrifting anymore until I move. Yeah, it's just too early, you know? It's October, I'm moving at the end of the year, early next year. <sighs> The urgency has not kicked in yet, but I promise you it will. Okay, you guys, I will wrap things up and I hope to see you soon in another video. Let me know if you had a favorite piece. Let me know if you want to buy anything, either on Instagram or in the comments down below. We'll find a way to reach each other and I need to get out of this spot because my leg is falling asleep. I hope you have a good rest of your day whenever you're watching this and see you soon in another video. Hit the thumbs up. Cheers!